What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. On this channel we share our daily experience with the Power Platform and I want to give you some straightforward solutions and tips for easy to intermediate problems. If you're looking for some rocket science in the Power Platform section, this might be the wrong channel for you because there are some great people out there we also look up to. Nevertheless, we're very, very happy about every visitor and uh, looking forward to the mutual exchange in the comments. So if you liked this one, then hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for us. What we want to talk about today is uh, create more dynamic HTML text using collections. And in this example, we use a specific criteria to uh, create more dynamic HTML text. So let's have a look on our scenario. We have the Tom Tasman company, which uses a power app to send a request with different office supply materials that a specific office employee needs. Later in this process, the HTML text form gets converted to a PDF and then sent to a specific receiver who purchases the materials. The employee has to set a priority for any material he requests. And this is a very important, this last sentence is very important because uh, this priority is important for our criteria based or criteria based grouping in our HTML text. So what's our requirement? What do we want? At first we want to transfer our materials with the priority just in a simple way as an HTML table or just as HTML text. And furthermore, the request should be grouped according to the selected priority. That's why I said that our priority is very important in this example. So let's have a look on our dummy app. At first we have five different materials uh, we need some pens, paper, perforators, highlighters and pencils. And uh, all these materials have a specific priority. And uh, to get this stuff in our HTML text we have two versions. At first let me show you version number one. Um, we're using two steps. Our first step is we collect these different materials into our collection call request for every text box and for every drop down we push the selected value or the typed in text into this call request and in our second step we create a new collection called html request that's where we push all these call request materials into another collections and at first we're opening this table, this HTML table using this tag. And after that, we are using the for all function because for all materials in our call request, we are creating a new row and a column for material and also a second column for our priority. After that, we're closing the column and also the, the row. If we don't have a material in our collection. So if it's an empty row, then we don't want to collect the material. Last but not least, um, we are collecting the closing tag for our HTML request. So that's it. Let's have a look how this looks in version number one. As you can see, we have a HTML text here, request HTML. And all we have to do now is uh, use this static text in our example, a request has been received with the following material. After this, we use two breaks. And all we have to do is concat our HTML request because we got all this stuff in our collection and uh, concat the value column. So let's have a look on our collection looks like this we have the just just one column called value so I think that's uh, power apps does this for us and in each row we have 
we have the opening tag and uh, I think that's yeah that's a preview we only can see five rows and down there we there's the closing tag for HTML table so it's quite easy we just have to concat the value column and use all that stuff that is in our HTML request collection but as you might remember we want to be able to get this stuff grouped according to the selected priority and that's what happens in version number two. The first step is the same again. We have to collect all these materials, but after that, for each priority, we create a specific collection. As you can see here, we use the switch function for this. So our priority result is our switch value. So if we have a high priority, then the material should be collected into our HTML request high using these bullet point tags. If we have a medium priority, it should be pushed into our medium collection. And if we have a low priority, it should be pushed into our low priority. Again, we have this if function. If there is no material in the specific row, we don't want to collect empty rows. Now let's have a look on this one and as you can see again we have our static text here and all we have to do is concat these different criteria based collections we have cr three collections because in our example we just have three criterias and uh, we have very very easy way to push all these HTML text into our HTML text box here. So I hope this one might help you sometime and if you liked it then uh, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for us and see you next time.